Hello everyone, I'm Aiden, and I will be introducing you to today's episode of Video News. Take care of your plants. They may scream if you treat them badly. Although this is an exaggeration, plants can make sounds when they are stressed, according to a recent paper published in Cell. Plants interact with insects and other animals all the time, and many of these organisms use sound for communication, so it would be very suboptimal for plants not to use sound at all. Lilac Hadani, co-author of the study, told Science Focus. With this in mind, the research team started recording plant sounds. They placed tobacco and tomato plants in soundproof boxes to shut off the noise in the environment. Several ultrasonic microphones were then put near the plants, which can record at frequencies between 20 and 250 kilohertz. The maximum frequency that a human adult's ear can hear is about 16 kilohertz. There were three groups of plants. One group wasn't watered for five days, another group had the stems cut off, and the last group was untouched. The microphones caught sounds at a frequency of 40 to 80 kilohertz from the first two groups. The sound, which was similar to the noise of popcorn popping when translated into a frequency humans can hear, grew louder and louder during the five days of water stress. They then began to decline as the plants dried out. A stressed plant produced the popping sound around 30 to 50 times per hour, while the untouched group only produced around once per hour, according to the study. The researchers haven't yet discovered how the sounds are made. One theory is that they could be made during cavitation, which is the process of an air bubble in the plant collapsing under some kind of pressure. After the experiment, the team gathered the data on stressed plants and then made machine learning software that could tell how plants feel. It could differentiate between unstressed plants, thirsty plants, and cut plants, which can be useful for farmers in monitoring the conditions of their crops. That's all for this episode of Video News. See you next time.